the trade-off for surrendering your crappy little life you have here, the trade-off is insane. If you literally comprehended the kingdom, the roads of gold, the wading in the river of life, the the empowerment, basically being like a mini-me version of God himself, all-powerful, in meekness and eternal, uh, renewed, all-powerful body, the peace and the power that we will inherit, the inheritance, unspeakable, matchless, and all you have to do to get it is to give up what little you have here. That's how ridiculous our clinging to this tiny temporal existence just so that we don't have to surrender what little we have. I hear of it saying, you know, in order to get what he has for you, you have to let go of what little you have. To get a lot, you have to let go of little. That's literally how ridiculous and how it is. All you have to do here is attempt to walk in the spirit of discipline regarding what he commanded and be bold about it and attempt to do it right. You know, try and try again. A righteous man falls and gets back up. All you have to do is try to live for the Lord. Try to share Jesus' gospel. Try, try. Try to baptize and disciple. Try to love the Lord. Try to be a living sacrifice for the Lord. Try to love God. Try to worship. Try to pray without ceasing. That's all you have to do to inherit this coming kingdom of unspeakable glory. No eye has seen, nor ear has heard the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. The trade off is ridiculous. We don't deserve any of it. And yet, it is written. So, literally, the only thing standing in between people and their inheritance of eternity and blessing matchless and power and peace, basically riches beyond belief, For each one who believes on the Son, the only thing standing in the way is the devil who owns nothing and is a deceiver. So basically, nothing is standing in the way. Salvation is a free gift. Literally, the devil owns nothing and is nothing except deceit. So there's literally nothing standing in your way of inheriting everything you can even imagine in eternity. There's nothing standing in your way except deception and maybe a little insecurity. Like, oh, it would be embarrassing to serve the Lord or a little fear like, man, if I try to tell people about Jesus, I might get killed. I've heard that one. Like, it's dangerous to talk about the Lord. That's a Religious and stuff is is leads to bloodshed. So you're gonna die anyway. Your life is barely anything. This life is temporal. We're seeing people die every day, every day, every day. But did they even die signing on the dotted line? Did they even sign up? Did they even die with the promise of inheritance in their spirit? Were they about it? So, I mean, that's how ridiculous. That's, so, you either sacrifice what little you got to obtain everything God has, or you sacrifice everything God has for you and hold on to this little crappy uh, existence here. And that's, you know, I've heard it said that this is, what you have here is your only taste of heaven if you don't receive the Lord. This You get a little tiny whatever joy, blessing that you got to experience here, your children, your job, or that's, the, that's all the heaven you get. And then you're, 
you're destroyed. My people are destroyed for a lack of wisdom.